to the end of the work week. So some street flooding. Now notice tropical uh, tracker here over the Gulf, not highlighting anything. There's all the moisture heading up into the Gulf there, and that is what we're keeping an eye on. Now deeper in the tropics, we are watching what is now called Invest 97. Still way out there, not very organized, but it is an area of showers and storms broad in nature south of the Cabo Verde Islands. Still giving it about a 40% chance of trying to organize. Not a slam dunk forecast, not a guarantee it does. It is somewhat in a favorable environment or somewhat favorable environment here. It's got the warm waters, but over the next couple of days as it lifts west, west northwest, it's actually going to try to run into slightly cooler water. So that could be one factor that really keeps it from blowing up. Notice by the end of the weekend and early next week, it does move closer to the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, somewhere in here, a tropical feature, and it'll be in warmer waters, but that's when the drier and wind shear kick in. So there's a bunch of different parts here that mean we're not anticipating this to blow up into a big storm. Notice got the moist air, dry air on the northern side, but as it gets closer to the islands out here towards early next week, that's when some wind shear will start to push some drier air. Overall, I don't see it being a Gulf problem the way it looks right now. If anyone needs to watch it, it's part of the East Coast, but uh, that's no slam dunk forecast either. So just something to watch. It's a long ways out there, and if it does try to organize and get a name, the next name is Danielle. But no immediate threats to us, or at least major threats. We'll be watching for some rounds of heavy rain through the next couple of days, but fortunately that keeps our temperatures somewhat manageable in the 80s. April.